welcome back to Auto Repair guys. If you guys have a vehicle that uh, has a problem such as having coolant in your oil or having oil in your coolant guys, stay with us and we'll explain what could cause that, the most, uh, three most common reasons for that guys and uh, what to expect guys. Now, modern vehicles guys, they are complicated, they have quite a few gaskets and mixing oil and coolant guys, it doesn't mean that your engine is done. Back in the day it used to be once you see your coolant and oil mixing, it automatically means head gasket, right? Because the head gasket, the canals for the oil and the coolant are next to each other, but now in today's scenario guys, modern vehicles, that's not the case. Let me quick introduce you to the channel guys, we have more than 200 videos on every vehicle we get at the shop. Why? Because our goal guys is to save you as much money. So as much money as we can. All we need in return guys, subscribe to the channel, like the video and drop a comment below. Now, let me explain what we'll be discussing here today. So, on modern vehicle guys, okay, having a problem such as having coolant in the oil or oil in the coolant, it could be a bad head gasket, okay, especially if the car was overheated, but this is not the most common one, okay. The most common one guys, nowadays vehicles, they have oil coolers. Okay, this is the engine oil cooler. So this is where the oil filter is usually located on the oil cooler. And what, what that thing does, okay, coolant goes, okay, from one hole here, enters, okay, this is the actual cooler, oil cooler. It goes in one of these holes, exits on the other one. Engine oil gets in through one of these holes and exits from the other one. As a result guys, okay, when the coolant and oil are circulating in the cooler inside, uh, what will happen, okay, they will, uh, they will have about the same temperature because engine oil will start uh, to get hot but the coolant will keep it from getting hotter. So they will be about at the same temperature. Now, however guys, okay, coolers all, always have gaskets guys. They have gaskets and you can see that's where uh, where the uh, uh, engine coolant, that's the antifreeze where it goes, okay, right here, and this is the engine oil. As a result, guys, okay, if those gaskets fail, and you can see this one did fail, okay, let me show you how thin it is, okay, there is absolutely nothing sticking out and it should. As a result, guys, okay, I'm trying to focus so you can see absolutely no gasket sticking out as a result oil and coolant will mix okay another thing okay those coolers guys on the inside they go bad why because uh, they have different canals where the oil and the coolant goes but they're not supposed to mix each other sometimes they will crack as a result okay when they crack oil and coolant will mix so uh, having oil in your coolant or coolant in your oil doesn't mean you have a bad engine guys. It could be just a 10 dollar gasket that you need to replace and you're ready to go. Okay right, guys, another place where you can develop a leak guys. Right here you can see usually by the oil pump somewhere or the engine block you're going to have a gasket where coolant and oil flows. Okay, one is coolant, one is oil and as a result guys if that gasket is bad you're going to develop a coolant leak there as well. And uh, or oil leak and guys you can mix those together coolant and oil and it will be it will be catastrophic guys uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you that are about to freak out that you need a head gasket always inspect your problems first guys before okay before assuming the worst always always research your situation if you guys have you have, have any specific problems or questions drop a comment below we'll try to make uh, to make a video for your problem as soon as we can so Thank you guys for watching, please subscribe and see you guys next time.